Welcome back to Watercolor Theory. Uh, today I'm going to be going over this elephant painting for the second time, starting off with a very detailed pencil sketch. I've gone back and forth over with my pencil sketches. Should I do more detailed? Should I do less? And I find that the more detailed my pencil sketch is, the easier it is to paint and it allows for more looseness and freedom. So I highly encourage that you try it. Maybe not on an elephant, but if you do want the elephant, uh, the picture of the elephant is available on Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S. And they have a lot of uh, different material if you can't afford to fly off to Africa or anything. So right now, so now I'm using a spray bottle to pre-wet the paper a little bit in a non-uniform matter just it helps the water take in the paint a little bit and so now you can see i've got the blue of the sky and i am painting upside down so this obviously gravity is our friend in this particular setup so putting down the paint trying to keep it just above the blue paint just above the elephant's head to represent sky, obviously. Went back in, got a little bit more color. Now these uh, brushes are about an inch and a half long. It's a half inch wide. And so when you grab the bristles and flick it, it does a finer mist than when you tap on it. Now I'm dabbing up the color around the ears, trying to keep that area a little bit softer as well. I use a mixture of Daniel Smith, Core, Q-O-R, uh, Schmincke, not in this particular painting, and Windsor and Newton. All of their professional lines of those manufacturers are, are excellent. You can't go wrong with any of them. I do have preferences in some of the brands when it comes to certain colors and two manufacturers can both use PY42 and it looks very different. So, and it's very difficult to experiment because uh, you're kind of committed to buying a whole tube of the paint. One thing I do like about Windsor and Newton, at least in my area, is I can buy a, a five milliliter tube and experiment before jumping all in on a 15 milliliter. Now I've moved on to adding the uh, ground with a little bit darker uh, red and orange combo. The um, Putting that in um, along the bottom, not really worried about where it lands on some yeah. green gold by core and it's more than likely mixed with a little bit of sap green i primarily mix my colors uh, based on the value and the mood so i wanted it to appear pretty hot and if you've ever been in a dry climate and you're out looking out on the horizon you can just see the heat waves coming off the ground and that is one of the things i was attempting to convey God. and then now i'm going back over it again on the bottom with warm color to really add that depth always remember that cool colors mostly recede not always but for the most part a cooler color will recede into the distance with atmospheric perspective, warmer colors will come forward. And so I'm putting in some warmer colors on the bottom. It just happens to be upside down. And now I'm going in, just trying to define that edge a little bit with, I believe that was permanent rose matter, just defining some edges here. It's going to bleed out quite a bit. Um, Sometimes you put color down and 
you wonder if it was all at all worth it, but in the end, it just adds a little bit. And that's the subtlety and beauty of using watercolor. Whereas with oil, when you put it down, it's the same color. It stays in the same place. There's no migration. So this is for me rather therapeutic. And I'm doing the voiceover because while I am painting these, I'm usually listening to music and also it's a difficult to get into that flow state while painting. So I encourage doing it in an area where you're not going to be bothered. Um, there's no traffic. Nobody's questioning what you're saying or if you're talking to yourself or singing along with your favorite tunes, whatever. So now I'm putting in those other touches. Uh, you can see a little bit of the red um, bleeding through. And, um, you know, in a moment, I'll get to the point where it's just almost dried. And I mean, some parts of this are, are dry. I'm letting the, the yellows, the warm colors run in and then looking at it to see where I want to add more of this, uh, this reddish orange. And, uh, there, there came a point where I was almost just ready to be done with it and not add much more, but I did add some more detail to it. I really think going back to what I said about the pencil sketch, uh, doing a very detailed pencil sketch, this almost stands on its own. And from 20 feet, it's semi abstract. And then when you get up close, it's a clearly an elephant and without adding in those details in the shadows. So yeah, I'm just putting in some more touches. This is at about 17, 15. So now I'm lifting up some of the colors. Um, you can see up on the elephant's head where it's still wet. You can see the gloss. You can see the tonal difference in the ear. Uh, there are bits of cauliflower popping through here and there. It just adds to the texture um, with the dust. Um, this is an advantage with watercolor on things that are organic, like shrubs, dust, fur, uh, allowing the watercolor to do its thing. Uh, here I'm lifting out uh, some of the color in the tusks just to lighten them up a little bit so that they'll pop out again. I think I could have left it alone once it had dried. Here's the reference material again. Um, definitely more motion with this, just um, that I wanted, initially was going to put in the drop shadow uh, to the lower left, but I decided to leave it just to uh, let it be very uh, bright, hazy day and um, not have cast shadows. So you can see I've let the painting dry now. Everything looks good. Um, as I've discussed previously, this could have just stayed as is. I love in the painting how there's plenty of cauliflower, uh, very organic. Um, some of the areas I went in and, uh, and then lifted them. This is a lot of back and forth with uh, laying down and then lifting and um, there was one spot where I got the shoulder, um, uh, upper, upper leg, front leg, a little too dark. And I did, um, lift that out. Um, again, so many points on this where I could have walked away. Uh, I will be doing another version of this, but I will be doing it as if it's coming out of the darkness. So it will have a lot darker blue, some, cool and warm, probably more cool neutrals. So I'll be doing that uh, soon and watch for that. I'm going to re-release this video uh, with a voiceover and uh, shorten it up. I'm trying to keep all my videos around 20 minutes, figuring that sometimes people can only sneak a peek occasionally. Um, 
maybe during a lunch break, just watch with headphones or um, do the captioning or perhaps while waiting on a loved one or at the doctor's office, whatever. So try to keep them quick and just inspire you to do things. If you have something that you want painted, uh, leave it in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, subscribing is free and it really helps me and the channel out. So uh, if you could do that, that would be awesome. Thumbs up, let other people know that you like it. It just shares it with people that have similar interests. So if you're a watercolor junkie like myself, uh, I'm subscribed to tons of channels. So please subscribe and like, and I'll keep making content. Thank you so much and have a great day.